In this video, we are going to create a sample application to utilize function calling features. So we are going to build sample application to get the real time temperature of a particular location. So a user can come and ask for a weather of a city and he is going to pass his query to our Spring AI application. The Spring AI application is going to interact with external API and that external API is going to return us the temperature which we have to pass on to a user. So there are certain steps are involved to achieve this function calling. First of all, we have to create our custom functions and we have to register these functions. Then because we are using our OpenAI model, so we have to leverage this OpenAI chat client and we have to pass our function name over there. Now based on the user query, OpenAI is smart enough to decide when to call this particular functions and when not to call this particular functions. So if it feels like, okay, for this particular query, it has to call a functions, then it will produce a JSON object uh, with the arguments. And then we can leverage this particular arguments to call the functions. This is how we can achieve the capability of connecting our LLM models to external tools and API. So the first thing what we have to do in this case, because we are talking about this weather API. So we have to get the details of this weather API and we have to write a sample application to call this weather API. This is going to be our step number one. So let's get started on this. To get the real time weather of a particular location, we are going to utilize this weatherrepair.com. We can just click on this view docs and we can get details around this API. We have to pass our key to call this weather API and this is going to be our base URL. And on top of this base URL, if we call this API method, then we are going to get the current weather of a city. Now to get started with this weather API, first of all, you have to create your account. If your account is not there, then you have to sign up to this. And if you already have an account then you can just go ahead and log in and here at the top you will be able to see this api key and this api key we have to utilize it to call this particular weather api so once you get that api key then we can click on this swagger tool just to get an idea about this api and the available endpoints it will route us to this particular page and here you can see for authentication we have to provide our api key we can just pass our key over here and we can authorize ourselves and after that we can just test it out this particular api by passing certain parameters we want to utilize this current dot json endpoint so here you can see like it is required one particular parameter which is going to be q and once we pass that parameter so the response going to come like this we we are going to have a location under location you have a name region country then you have this current section and under this current section you can see the temperature is going to be in celsius and then the temperature is going to be in fahrenheit we can choose which particular temperature we want to show in our application so to build this first thing what we have to do is go to our application properties and define all our parameters so here you can see the open ai api key we are defining then we are defining our chat options model gpt 4 o mini and then we are also passing this weather api base uri this is what we have got from documentation this is going to be our base url and then we are passing our weather api key now the first thing what we have to do is define our dto so based on what we see over here so the first thing actually what we are defining something called the request and then we are having a response we have to have this request and response in our weather class and there is a significance of it when we are going to use it in functions a request we have to define okay what is going to be our input parameter to call the functions so this is going to be city name we want to get the temperature based on the city so city is going to be our request parameter and then the response what we are going to get here we can see in this swagger out of all this output what we are getting we are just focusing on this location and current or you can just take a current also like if you are very much interested only in temperature for time being i have just taken two responses from api one is going to be location one is going to be current and then because we are defining this particular variable as a location so we have to define this as well and under location i am just going to take two things one is going to be string name and one is going to be country so this is going to be of a string similarly under current i am just taking the temperature and this is going to be in fahrenheit so this is how actually we have to define our DTO class first. The second service what we are going to build over here in the services folder and this is going to be of weather service builder and what exactly are we doing over here? We are actually making a call to this weather API and trying to get a response out of it based on our class which we have just defined over here. So to call this particular weather endpoint we have to get the base URI which we are taking it from our properties and then we have to pass our API key to call this particular endpoint 
we are using this res client service and then we have just defined a function over here which is going to be get weather we just have to pass a city name to get the output so we are passing a city name over here because this particular endpoint is a get endpoint so we are calling this get method on top of that we are trying to build the uri so we have to take the base url on top of that we have to add the current.json and then there are certain parameters also we have to pass it over here and just to give you some idea i am just going to go to postman and here you can see i am just calling this particular weather endpoint with get this is the base url and then we are calling this current.json then we have to pass our key and then we have to pass a city name for which we want the output to be generated now so from postman we can pass this key and city parameter using the query params and then we can call this particular endpoint and it's going to give us an output same like what we have seen on swagger if you have to build this kind of url over here in java then we are using this uri components builder from uri string and under this only we just have to pass all these parameters so weather based uri then the current json then the query param and then the city name so here it's going to be variable what we are passing over here and then at the last we just have to convert it into dot to uri string after that like uh, once we pass it we have to get the response which we are getting it using retrieve and then out of all this output we just want to take the output what we have defined over here only for location and current and this is what we have been retrieving so if you want like any additional field or if you want to restrict it down out of all the output what we are getting you can just you know control it from here so we want this particular output to follow our provided class so that we can just define it using this we can just pass our weather dot response dot class in the body and then we are only going to a response like what we are supposed to get and that is going to be the return type of this particular method which is going to be weather dot response now to integrate it with llm first of all we have to take this particular method what we have defined and then we have to convert it into a function so to convert it into a functions we have used another service over here this is our weather service and this is implementing this function and you can see this particular function is coming from java.util.function and under this function we have to pass two things one is going to be request and another is going to be response so as soon as we implement this function so it will ask us to override this apply method and under this method we can just pass our request and then we have to get a response out of it so this we can control it as soon as you implement a function with your request and response it will ask you to override this apply method and this apply method is going to take your request and going to generate your response based on the input parameter which you have defined over here yeah so here you can see i am i am just auto wiring my weather service builder which i have just defined over here and it's already returning a response in weather dot response format so i can just take it and directly utilize over here here you can see it's going to take a request in this weather dot request format and we know under request we do have a city the city is going to be of a string type so we have to pass our input parameter like this now this would create our functions and now we have to register this particular functions to register this functions so we are going to create this config class and under this config class we have to define our bean and you can see like here we are calling our function as a current weather and to register this functions we are going to utilize this bean annotation and under this bean annotation then we have to pass our description for this function like what exactly this function would do or where it is going to be helpful so this particular description is required because based on this only llm would know like which particular function it has to call for which particular query so this particular annotation is not optional please try to use it wherever possible so suppose if you have a multiple functions over here then based on this description only we can just isolate at all this function like this particular function is for this particular utility now the other function is for other utility so this description is required over here and then we just have to name our function so we are just calling it current weather and under this current weather we are just calling this weather service which we have just defined over here now our function has been registered we just have to utilize it in our llm model now for that we have created another service over here which is going to be ai service and under this service we just have to pass a user query and this user query we are passing it using this user message and under this we are just passing this particular query 
and in this chat model dot call you have to pass our user query and then call our functions or to let this model know we do have a functions also available we have to use this open ai chat options so here you do have a query then you have to use this open ai chat options dot builder and then dot with function and under this function only you have to pass your function name which we have just defined over here so here we do have this current weather and this current weather only we have to take it and then pass it in our model calling so now our llm model is going to be aware of okay there is something called current weather which has been defined current weather is going to help me to get the weather of the city so now if some user is coming and asking for like what is the current weather of a particular city then maybe this model is not aware of that information but now it has the capability to call this particular api and get that temperature out so once your service is also defined then we can just go ahead and create a particular endpoint this endpoint we are calling it as ai query and under this endpoint we are just auto wiring our ai service which we have defined and then the request parameter is going to be query which user can pass and we, because we are only interested to get the content of the response so we are again navigating to get result get output get content and then we are just returning that response with the key of response so we can now just go ahead and try to run this application and just try to see how it works now my application is up and running i can go to my postman and i have to hit this particular endpoint ai query so i will just go to this particular endpoint ai query and then i have to pass one parameter which is going to be cube and i'm just going to ask what's the temperature in london so i just have to convert it into post and then just hit this endpoint okay i have to pass this query parameter over here so this is for weather api for our api this is going to be query so i'm just going to pass a query and then hit this endpoint again and in this case you can see the current temperature in london is 61.2 fahrenheit it has a retrieve the output correctly because in our current class we only you know mentioned this temperature fahrenheit so it's retrieving that temperature because we are especially asking for it so there is another parameter also celsius one so what i can do like instead of just calling fahrenheit i can just pass it like this and i can rerun my application just to show you like how we can control the output using our function calling so now my application is up and running. I'm not asking a uh, give me temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'm just asking what is the temperature in London should be providing me output in the Celsius only. And here you can see the output has been converted into Celsius. This is how actually we can utilize function calling to call external API. That's all what we have in this video. Thank you for watching.